The Sukhoi Su-7 was a swept-wing, supersonic fighter aircraft developed by the Soviet Union in 1955. Originally, it was designed as tactical, low-level dogfighter, but was not successful in this role. On the other hand, soon introduced Su-7B series became the main Soviet fighter bomber and ground attack aircraft of the 1960s. The Su-7 was rugged in its simplicity but its shortcomings included short range and low weapon load. It was replaced by Sukhoi Su-17 and later models. Design and Development Equals Original Su-7 Fighters equals, On May 14, 1953, after Joseph Stalin's death, the Sukhoi OKB was reopened and by the summer, it began work on a swept-wing frontline fighter. The first prototype, designated S-1, was designed to use the new Lyok Al-7 turbojet engine. It was the first Soviet aircraft to utilize the all-moving tailplane and a translating center body, a movable inlet cone in the air intake for managing airflow to the engine at supersonic speeds. The aircraft also had a dramatic wing sweep of 60 a degree, irreversible hydraulically boosted controls, and an ejection seat of OKB's own design. The S-1 first flew on September 7, 1955 with a G-cocked cab at the controls. Fitted with an afterburning version of the AL-7 engine after the first 11 flights, the prototype set a Soviet speed record of 2,170 km per hour in April 1956. The prototype was intended to be armed with 337mm Nudelman N37 cannon and 32 spin-stabilized 57mm unguided rockets in a ventral tray. The second prototype, S-2, introduced some aerodynamic refinements. Testing was complicated by the unreliable engine and S-1 was lost in a crash on November 23, 1956, killing its pilot Ian Sokolov. Only 132 had been produced between 1957 a Euro 1960, and the aircraft entered service as Su-7 in 1959. Equals Su-7 B fighter bomber equals, on July 31, 1958, Soviet Tactical Aviation tasked Sukhoi with developing a ground attack variant of the Su-7, which could replace the scrapped Ilyushin Il-10. The resulting prototype, S-22, incorporated structural refinements for high-speed, low-altitude operations. It first flew in March 1959, and entered service in 1961 as the Su-7B. Operationally, Su-7s were hampered by a high landing speed of 340 a Euro 360 km per hour, as dictated by the thin, highly swept wing. Combined with poor visibility from the cockpit, and lack of an instrument landing system, it made operations very difficult, especially in poor weather or on poor airfields. In 1961-1962, Sukhoi experimented with blown flaps on S-25 but the benefit was too small to warrant implementation. JATO rockets tested on S-22-4 proved more useful and were incorporated into Su-7 BKL. Attempts to improve takeoff and landing performance eventually resulted in the Sukhoi Su-17. Equals Su-7A fighter equals, the frontline fighter version saw limited operational use in the Far East from 1958, but by 1959, a decision was made to proceed with production of the MiG-21, and less than 200 units were deployed. The Su-7A was retired in 1965. They never saw combat. Equals Su-7B fighter bomber equals. Su-7B and its variants became the main Soviet ground attack aircraft of the 1960s. They were also widely exported. However, the very short combat radius and need for long runways limited its operational usefulness. On the other hand, despite its notoriously heavy controls, the Su-7 was popular with pilots for its docile flight characteristics, simple controls and considerable speed even at low altitudes. It also had a reputation for easy maintenance. From 1977 to 1986 the Su-7s remaining in Soviet service have been replaced by Su-17 and MiG-27. Operational history equals Egypt equals. The Su-7s saw combat with Egypt in the 1967 Six-Day War, the subsequent War of Attrition, and saw use in the Yom Kippur War by the Egyptians to attack Israeli ground forces. 
equals India equals, the Indian Air Force used the Su-7 extensively in the 1971 war with Pakistan. Six squadrons, totaling in 140 aircraft, flew almost 1,500 offensive sorties during the war, and undertook the bulk of the daytime attack efforts. The IAF managed to retain a very high operational tempo with its Su-7s, peaking at a sortie rate of six per pilot per day. Fourteen Su-7s were lost during the war, mostly due to AA fire. After the war was over, it was found that the aircraft had a high survivability, being able to fly home safely despite receiving heavy damage. For example, Wing Commander H.S. Mangat Su-7 was badly damaged by a Sidewinder missile fired from PAF MiG-19. The impact was so severe that half the rudder was missing, the elevators, ailerons and flaps were severely damaged, and half the missile was stuck in the chute pipe. The pilot made it back to his base. The death of at least one Indian pilot can be attributed, at least indirectly, to poor cockpit design. A pilot set his seating at a dangerous position, because he found the bomb site and the front gun site easier to operate while in that position, and was killed on ejection. Variants A total of 1,847 Su-7 and its variants were built. Su-7, first production version. The only production version that was a tactical air superiority fighter. Factory designation S-2. Manufactured 1957 to 1960 with 132 built. Remained in operational service until 1965. Su-7B, the first ground attack version, factory designation S-22. Manufactured 1960 to 1962 with 431 built. Su-7BM, upgraded AL-7F1 engine, upgraded fuel system with external piping on either side of the fuselage spine. Fuel tanks installed in the wings, wet underwing hardpoints for carrying external fuel tanks, capable of carrying tactical nuclear bombs. Manufactured 1963 to 1965 with 290 built. Su-7 BKL, rough field capable variant with skids affixed to the sides of the main landing gear, provision for two SPRD 110J ATO rockets of 29.4 kN thrust, and twin brake parachutes. Introduced in 1965, factory designation S-22 kilolitres. Manufactured 1965 to 1972 with 267 built. Su-7 BMK, a simplified export version of Su-7 BM. Manufactured 1967 to 1971 with 441 built. Su-7U, two-seat trainer version of the Su-7B with reduced fuel capacity. First flight October 25, 1965. Manufactured 1966 to 1972 in parallel with the export version, designated Su-7UMK. Su-7UM, two-seat training version of the Su-7BM. Su-7UMK, two-seat training version of the Su-7BMK. All Su-7 trainers amounted to 411 built. Su-7IG. Experimental Variable Geometry Wing Aircraft which was developed into Sukhoi Su-17. 100 LDU Control Configured Vehicle A Su-7U modified with canards and a longitudinal stability augmentation system. It was designed as a test bed for a fly-by-wire system for the Sukhoi T-4. It was later used in 1973 a Euro 1974 during the development of the Su-27's fly-by-wire system. Equals OKB-51 okay, designations equals, S-1, Stlavitnoi, Krylo a Euro swept wings, OKB-51 okay, designation for the first prototype of the Su-7 slash Su-9 family. S-2, OKB-51 okay, designation for the first production version of the Su-7. S-22, OKB-51 okay, designation for the Su-7B production aircraft. S-22-2. OKB-51 OK, designation for the prototype of the Su-7BM. S-22M, OKB-51 OK, designation for the Su-7BM production aircraft. S-22 kilolitres, OKB-51 OK, designation for the Su-7BKL production aircraft, incorporating the short field equipment tested on the S-22-4. 
S-23, as a precursor to the S-22-4 tests, the S-23 was tested with a pure ski undercarriage and with skis on the main legs only, S-22-4, an S-22 tested with wheel slash ski undercarriage, brake parachute and SPRD 110 JATO boosters for rough unpaved field operations. S-25, this aircraft was used for boundary layer control tests, with compressor bleed air blown over the leading edges to reduce field length. S-25T, a Su-7 fitted with a boundary layer control system, rigged especially for use in a full-scale wind tunnel. S-26, a continuation of the S-22-4 testing with wheel ski undercarriage, double brake parachute and JATO boosters. S-22 MK, a simplified export version of the Su-7 BKL, designated Su-7 BMK, U-22, a belated trainer version with two seats in tandem and an extended nose based on the Su-7 BM. U-22 MK, OKB-51 designation for the export version of the Su-7U, designated Su-7U MK by the Soviet Air Force, S-3, a projected interceptor version of the S-2, with Izamud radar and avionic equipment in a reconfigured nose section. S-41, OKB-51 designation for the unexperimental version of the S-1 per second 2 with a length and nose and area ruled rear fuselage. T-1, a Delta Wing tactical fighter project, based on the S-2, cancelled with the prototype nearly complete. T-3, a Delta Winged interceptor version of the S-2, developed in parallel to the S-3 and T-1. This would eventually lead to the T-43 prototype of the Su-9 interceptor. Operators equals Current operators equals North Korea, North Korean Air Force Euro received at least 28 Su-7 BMK-7 UMK in 1971. The aircraft were ordered in 1969. Equals Former operators equals Afghanistan, Afghan Air Force, 24 Su-7 BMK and 16 Su-7 new trainers were delivered to Afghanistan from 1972. Constant fighting, a high accident rate in the high altitude and poor maintenance caused substantial attrition. An addition 79 used replacements from Soviet stocks were supplied during the 1980s. None remain in service. Algeria, Algerian Air Force, 20 Su-7 BMK and 8 Su-27 UM. Czechoslovakia, Czechoslovak Air Force a Euro The Czechoslovak Air Force was the first foreign operator of the Su-7 in 1963. Totals included 64 Su-7 BM, 31 Su-7 BKL and Su-7U. During Operation Service, 30 aircraft were lost in accidents. The remaining aircraft were phased out in 1990. Egypt Egyptian Air Force Euro The first batch of 14 Su-7 BMK was destroyed during the Six-Day War. From 1967 to 1972, Egypt received an additional 185 Su-7 BMK Su-7 UMK. Those which survived the October War with Israel were retired in the mid-1980s. India Indian Air Force, 140 were delivered in 1968, equipping six squadrons. An additional 14 attrition replacements were provided. The last units were retired in 1986. Iraq, Iraqi Air Force a Euro Iraq received 18 Su-7 BKL in 1968, with 83 more subsequently delivered. No longer in service, Poland, Polish Air Force, operated 6 Su-7 BM, 33 Su-7 BKA and 8 Su-7U from July 1964 until June 1990 no longer in service. Soviet Union, Soviet Air Force, Syria, Syrian Air Force, shortly after the Six-Day War, Syria received 25 Su-7s. In the October War Syria lost most of the aircraft supplied. After 1973, the Soviet Union resupplied Syria with 35 more aircraft. By the mid-1980s, the Su-7 had been transferred to the reserves and by the 1990s were decommissioned. Specifications Data from Green, Sutley, General Characteristics, Crew, 1, Length, 16.80 meters, Wingspan, 9.31 m, Height, 
4.99 m, wing area, 34 ma squared, empty weight, 8937 kilograms, loaded weight, 13570 kilograms, max takeoff weight, 15210 kilograms, power plant, 1A, Lyok AL7F1 afterburning turbojet, dry thrust, 66.6 kN, thrust with afterburner, 94.1 kN. Fuel capacity, 3,220 kg, performance, maximum speed, 1,150 km per hour at sea level, 2,150 km per hour at high altitude, range, 1,650 km, service ceiling, 17,600 m, rate of climb, 160 m per second, wing loading, 434.8 kg mass squared, Thrust weight, 0.71, takeoff roll, 950 m, landing roll, 700 m, armament, 2 a, 30 mm Newdman Richter NR30 cannon, 80 rounds each, up to 2000 kg on 6 hard points, typically including two 950 L or 600 L fuel tanks under the fuselage, and a combination of 250 kg or 500 kg bombs and 57 mm spin stabilized unguided rockets and UB 16 57 U pods. 18U69 5 kiloton nuclear bomb could be carried on the left fuselage hardpoint. Some versions could also carry two 600 L underwing drop tanks. See also related development Su 17 Su 22, aircraft of comparable role. Configuration and era, Dassault Mirage IIIE, HAL HF-24 Marat, Hawker Hunter, Nankang Q-5, Republic F-105 Thunderchief, Related Lists, List of Military Aircraft of the Soviet Union and the CIS. References Equals Notes Equals Equals Citations Equals Equals Bibliography Equals External Links, Su-7 from Global Security Su-7 from Global Aircraft, Su-7 from Military Factory, Su-7 BKL Walkaround.